developer Targeson has a port, a treble port, a project treble port for this phone peeps and I'm talking about the Samsung S3 Neo, here it is, as well running uh, at this point Android 9, official from Lineage OS, uh, but I want to you know test out some uh, GSI images on this phone so welcome to a new tutorial here at channel 48 my name is Puck and thank you for tuning in Welcome back. So there we are with the Samsung S3 mini. So you will need some files and I already downloaded the files. They are in my downloads and here they are, uh, Defender. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little folder and this is project travel S3 Neo. All right. So we have a fender image we have a recovery image and we have a boot image okay so what i want to try is i think hayfuck hayfuck or evolution one of these two but let's first Let's first treblize the phone. Hold on a second. Before you're gonna treblize the phone and, and do all these things that we're gonna do in the next steps, make sure that you have at least one good ROM on the phone that you know will let you restore back and get the phone back to life uh, if the GSI flashing fails. All right, so that's very important. Make sure you have at least one ROM, can be any ROM, any zip file. Uh, the, the, the older zips, they still work with the new uh, twerp that we're going to install. But it's very important that you have at least one ROM on the phone where you can, you know, in twerp go to and fix your phone back if the GSI flashing of Android 10 might fail in this video. So let's, let's continue. So let's copy the files to the internal. Bestandsoverdracht. And it should be here somewhere. Let's find it. Samsung phone. Okay, let's copy the project treble to the phone. Okay. And then we're gonna reboot the phone into, oh boy, download mode. Yes, there we go. So take a good look what we're gonna do. And you must do it in this order. We're first gonna install, and we're gonna install an image. We're gonna install it from out the folder, Project Treble. And we first gonna install the recovery image. And we select recovery to flash it. Now we're gonna reboot the system. Oh, not like that, Perk. Yeah, okay, I did it. And now we're gonna get into the new recovery. You see that? This is three two three, and then we're gonna do a wipe. Dial fix system data and catch. I don't know if you saw it just now, but we as well got a little fender partition now. See that? 
so now now we're gonna install again we're gonna install an image and we're gonna install the uh, the boot image and we're gonna select boot for that you see that boot and then we're gonna do a reboot back into recovery And at this point, I'm gonna grab my little USB hub. Okay, and I'm gonna connect it. And then I'm gonna grab my USB stick with at least one image onto it go home let's first mount the USB USB are you working come on flash so OTG is Mount USB storage. USB storage mounted. And now, this is stupid. Okay, let me see something else. Can I connect to the computer? Samsung unable to mount holy crap now I have a little problem I depended I depended on okay Okay, now we're back. I copied Hayfolk OS to the phone. I thought we would go into a recovery. Yes. So we did not flash the fender yet, remember? So now we're gonna install an image and we're gonna install Havoc OS as a system image. You see that? So this is the third step. And when this is done, we're gonna flash the fender. You must never flash the fender first before flashing the ROM itself. So now we go back home and we're gonna install image from our tour. And now we're gonna install the fender image. And that one will be installed to fender. You see that? So big moment, will it boot? And there we are, we're waiting for the thing to boot up, but it won't boot up guys, really. Um, <laughs> you can leave the thing up to tomorrow, well, at a certain moment, it will uh, reboot into a download mode, and then it's just gonna stay there in the download mode. And in fact, that means, uh, yeah, that it did not work, okay? So, but um, I saw that uh, Tigerson, um is talking about some roms on the xda side where he in fact as well has these files where i got these files and where you will have to download them yourself as well um 
he's talking about some rums, but I don't see no links to these rums. I don't see nada. So yeah, maybe somebody could uh, explain why that is. So yeah, there are there seems to be uh, some some Oreo that 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 is a GSI and that should work. It's it's unofficial and uh, yeah, in fact, it's all no big deal. We trebalize this phone, but yeah. There are no GSI ROMs, uh, at least not uh, that I found until now yet that work on this phone. Everything can happen in time. So, yeah, it's good that we still have the tools to uh, trebalize this device. You can install normal ROMs, uh, yeah, the normal way. Uh, however, I found out that uh, I got some MTP uh, problem with my, my Linux computer was complaining. It was crashing my 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 USB driver in some way, and then I needed to you know reboot again. And yeah, the connection is not that that fantastic with the computer, but for the rest, yeah, it works fine. And uh, phone is still up. I did had some uh, some some reboots uh, after I installed uh, Linux OS uh, 16 again official because there is no GSI ROM to install on this thing. As you can see we're still waiting there in the video. Um, I'm overdubbing this to explain it all a little bit to you. Um, I did uh, uh, install Pico gaps for Android 9 and that fixed the phone the random reboots uh yeah they went away i died i then flashed my mod and the device became something very very beautiful and uh, i can show that real fast to you now this is the very cracked samsung galaxy s3 neo ready to boot into android 9 official by lineage os amazing and there you go you see that the booting is so fast that you don't even see the boot animation that's how fast it is and uh, i created a nice little uh, yeah i'm testing out something and i made something nice Checking loot and hits work a bit, but yeah, the thing comes with a banner, you know. So, yeah, in fact, you should buy the application to really enjoy it to the max. But here, you can see phone is up and running again, including a beautiful dark skin. Android 9, there you go, would you ever dream that, 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 you know, that this phone would ever get official development by Lineage OS? I think Lineage OS just waited to see whoever would get, you know, I don't know, and I'm just very grateful to see this happening to the S3 Neo even though probably it's the ugliest one from YouTube it still showed you a very nice little video of how it can be trebalized and how you know Android 9 runs on this beautiful beautiful very nice device I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel at all time. And then I see you in the next video again. Until then, bye bye.